In this video, I want to give you a short review and my opinions on the CyberSec First Responder Certification by Logical Operations. Now, this exam is called the CFR 210. It is a DOD 857 compliant certification for the CSSP Analyst or CSSP Incident Responder, which stands for the Cybersecurity Service Provider Analyst or Cybersecurity Service Provider Incident Responder. The exam focuses on the theory and job related tasks for cybersecurity professionals and it contains a hundred questions that is given over a two hour or 120 minute period. Now this exam covers about 80% of what is covered by the CYSA plus exam, which has become very popular here in 2017 and 2018. The CFR was more difficult in my opinion than the CYSA. I've taken both exams this year and the CFR, the CyberSec first responder, was a little bit more difficult, but not too bad. I would say about 80% overlap between the two exams. The CFR study guide that they give you as part of your exam voucher is basically a PDF textbook for you to study for the exam. I found that it only covered about 85% of what was on the actual exam itself, because the exam assumed that you already had some knowledge in the field. You've already used some of the Linux commands or the registry expression commands, and that you couldn't just memorize this from a book the way you could with more of Security Plus or CEH or CYSA Plus. So in that regard, I thought it was a pretty good exam. The exam does cost about $400, but like I said, it does include the voucher for the exam as well as the digital textbook to study from, which was pretty nice. But again, it is a little bit on the more pricey side compared to something like CYSA, but it is much cheaper than something like CEH Certified Ethical Hacker. Now, which exam should you take? Because when you start looking at these exams out there, there's the CFR, there's CCNA CyberOps, there's CYSA Plus from CompTIA, there's CEH from EC Council. They're all pretty much competing exams in the same space. They all cover about 70 to 80% of each other on this exam. So what's really the difference? Well, the, C the CFA was more about defense. It was more about what do you do when somebody's hacked your network? How do you do the log analysis? How do you do the searching of the logs and searching of the packets and do the analysis? Whereas CEH is more focused on the attack side of things. CYSA from CompTIA is also focused on defense, but it doesn't necessarily go nearly as in depth on the packet analysis, the regular expressions, uh, or any of the log analysis that I saw in the CFA. They are touched on in CYSA, but you only had to really know about them, not really how to do them whereas CFR really did push you a little bit further in that regard. I can't speak on the CCNA CyberOps itself because personally, I don't have that certification yet. I've only taken the other three. Now, if you're gonna take the CFR exam, I would tell you this. You need to be ready for answering questions based on practical experience. You have to understand how to use Linux commands and which commands are used for what. You should know what commands you're gonna use in Linux for searching and parsing log files, things like grep, right? Those are going to be very important. Performing packet analysis. This is something that I thought was really interesting on the CyberSec first responder exam. They would give you portions of a packet analysis from something like Wireshark and you had to analyze it and give the right answer based on it. They also did things like that for log analysis where they give you 10 or 15 lines from a log file and you have to tell them this looks like malware beaconing. This looks like this event happened. And I thought that was a pretty good uh, use even though you're doing it in a multiple choice format with A, B, C, or D to really pull that information out of you, even though it wasn't necessarily a simulated or hands-on function. And then finally, you gotta understand regular expressions because there's at least a couple of questions on the exam. And I really personally found those to be some of the hardest questions on the CyberSec first responder, at least for me, uh, was the regular expressions. So if you're really comfortable with the Security Plus and the CYSA materials, you can probably take this exam and pass it without knowing this information, but these four things are really the things that you gotta kinda go above and beyond to show that you have some practical experience. And I think that's really the big difference with this CyberSec First Responder certification is they really wanna show that you have some practical experience when they get this certification. Now I will say, I did not pay for the exam. The exam was given to me free as a review copy so that I could make this video. I wanna make sure you guys know that. Would I take the exam if I had to pay for it? Personally, I wouldn't, but that's because I'm already CYSA plus certified. I think these two are very, very equivalent. In fact, according to the DOD 8570, that CSSP analyst and CSSP incident responder, they are considered equivalent certifications in the eyes of the DOD. And so for me, since I already paid for the CYSA out of pocket and already had that, 
I would not have gone and taken the CyberSec first responder. But the question is, what should you take? Well, I think if you haven't taken any of these four yet, the CyberSec first responder is a great certification to take. But if you're looking for an easier certification, CYSA Plus is a little bit easier in my opinion, and so it might be a little bit more obtainable if you don't have those years of practical experience yet.